Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm gonna walk you through the process I took to get my real estate license, my real estate sales license, not broker, in California. So it's very simple. The process is just following, taking courses. You have to be 18. Here we have the website. Let's just go run through it. So general requirements, you must be 18 years of age or older. Uh, you gotta be a, a resident. If you are not a California resident, see out of state applications. So click this link. So this is a government page. Make sure you go to a government page, bree.ca.gov. Um, and then they put honesty. You gotta be an honest person. How do you prove that? I don't know, uh, but you, you should be an honest person. And I've called some, I've gotten calls from agents and they don't sound that honest so there's a lot of people who are are agents and are not honest i myself just got my license that's it i do not practice real estate at the time i'm just not something it's not something that i'm considering right now because i have other things going on other plans that i'm you know going towards and maybe later i'll follow my i'll pursue real estate when i have when i feel like there is time and when i you know there's no such thing as like being ready for real estate but for me it's like let me get something done first before i chase another shiny object so let me finish my project here and then once that works out let me go on to real estate that's how i look at it all right course requirements you have to take three courses so three classes um so you got real estate principles real estate practice so that's number one and number two. And then number three, you got to choose one of these. Either one, just one. One of these three. What do I mean? One of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like 10 courses. One out of those 10, but you have to take principles and practice and one of these. And I think I took principles, I took practice, and then I took finance. So these three. Real estate finance, real estate practice, real estate principles. All right. After that, you know, well, where do you take those courses? The where where I took that course was uh, Real Estate Express. Express. I went to Real Estate Express. I think it was an advertisement. I forgot how I found the the website. But I think I just looked up like best uh, online real estate whatever. So you go here. They have different. You choose your state because every state is different. What's going on? Uh, California. Yeah. And then you just go education, real estate, get your license, and find courses. I guess a gift card. But here are the plans. I did the cheapest one, which is like 71, something like that. I don't really need the most expensive. I don't know. You, you, you look through it, see if it works out. I just did everything online. I got no physical books. I did everything online. So now that we got that out of the way, you know, they so read through the details because you have to finish these courses within, uh, I think it's, uh, don't quote me, but I think it was mm, six months, I believe. I, I don't really remember, but once you enroll, you, you get the details and it tells you by the time you had to finish. The fastest you, the fast this a person is allowed to finish is within I think 18 days per course. Like let's say you do finish before 18 days, you still have to wait 18 days to take your real estate uh, your, your your exam for each course. You got that? Your exam for each course. So your three courses are included in these. So like three courses included in here. If you in each one of these but the reason it's more expensive is because they offer more like benefits and stuff like that what's included so right here what's included 135 hour pre-licensed courses so they all have that that's all you need i mean they're all state approved that's necessary uh there are there is instructor support so you could uh, email message an instructor and they'll get back to you i asked the question they got back to me but like it was just probably like one question that i had um and real estate ebooks the books is online so you don't get a physical books 
And these are the other ones are just have extra thing like extra exam prep and but basically everything is already in the even the cheapest one like just read the courses and read the thing material the way I did it. Um, so now that we got that out of the way, the website. So you buy your courses, you you enroll, you start your first course. Um, the way it was in the courses, you know, you know, go through the course, uh, a chapter of each course, and then you take a, a test. And what I would do, like, I would probably like mess up or like do good, but then I noticed that I would take too long to finish each chapter. So what I did was just, you know, what I'm a pretty much like save the file, the chap, ch save the each chapter in a file, and then take the test, do whatever I can. Like I wouldn't really uh, read it f thoroughly, f or thoroughly. I would save it and then control find the answer or fail the test, and then it will give you the answers, and then just pretty much s save the file of the answers, and then go based on that and like basically I did the whole course like that like each course was uh, like 20 chapters so you could you might say it's cheating but I was just trying to be efficient trying to go through it as fast as I can because I had work I had other stuff to do so I just want to get it out of the way so once I got it out of the way basically uh, let me explain how I did it so like a course pretty much here is one course in eight eight hundred and fifty one pages. This is a whole course in eight in in eight hundred and fifty one pages. Here's another course, real estate finance, in nine hundred and fifty seven pages. Here's uh, vocabulary. I just googled some vocabulary uh, on Google, and I just went through some vocabulary words, general words, um, and here is real estate practice in six hundred and forty six pages. So whenever I would take test, I would just control find. So like I'll go control find uh, escrow and type it in right here and it'll pop up. And then, you know, I'll be able to do good on the test. So got the test, got the courses, passed the courses. When you pass each course, uh, you get a certificate. Okay, you get a certificate. Uh, you get one like this. So this is uh, for real estate principles. You pass that one, and then you get one for real estate finance. You pass that, you know, after you pass the test, and then you pass the real estate practice. You get it out of the way. So that's the easy, like it's really easy. Just if you do the control find, if you save the file, uh, don't put it on in the internet. Don't share with people. Don't share real estate expresses content. That's what I'd want to do. And yeah, so don't ask me for any of their content. But what I did was that you know save the file. And, and 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 pretty much take the test like that so once i passed the test you know got the certificates then you go to this website so how to apply for real salesperson exam is you just follow and these this procedure you know one complete the application uh, two uh, include like i think it's a check or a money order should be see there it is so you just read through this this thing obtain showing successful completion of uh, college so like you just add like pretty much print the certificates put send them um, this is apply if compliance and then wait at least six weeks so you mail it you wait six weeks and then you go to this the online system and then you log in with some credentials so mine's are here I already you know did the test and whatever and then you check if, it, if something pops up for you to sign up for classes that means you're ready to go um, and you're you could schedule so you schedule it for me it was I think in um, Granada I think and so I went over there took the test and passed it but how did I pass it okay it's by so I passed it by um, by going to this guy right here this guy on YouTube uh, pretty much has a lot of ways to pass it. So he has the material you want to study. Uh, he makes it simple for you. Pretty much has a lot of the questions that the test will have. 
And so just listen to it, maybe like, you know, whenever you have free time, put in your earphones, do whatever you gotta do, and just listen to it. So that's what I did. You know, I was working, making deliveries, I listening, pop my headphones on, listen to him. And then also I studied the vocabulary. So I took two days off before the exam and I, or two or three days. And then I studied pretty much those two, three days consistently studying the vocabulary. Yes, I was nervous, but I would uh, follow his content because his content pretty much tells you what you should focus on. And for me and for what he says is what you should really focus on is real estate principles. I think it was principles mostly. So is there math? There's, I don't, I didn't use the calculator. So for me, my test, they did, they gave me a calculator, but I didn't use it for nothing. I think maybe, maybe two questions out of 150 questions. So you're in the exam, you know, place for, I think it was three hours. I, I don't really remember. I think it was three hours, 150 questions. You have to get, I think, don't quote me again, 70% correct. So you basically have to get 70% uh, comes out to like 120 questions, correct? Let me, let's do the math. 150 times 0.7. You have to get 105 questions out of 150 correct and you'll pass the exam. And so I, they don't tell you how many you got right. So if you pass the exam, they don't tell you your score. If you do not pass your exam, they do tell you your score. So they show you how bad you did. So I don't know how my score because I passed. They just give you a letter right when you finish the online exam at the location where they check everything, making sure you're not cheating and anything like that. Because basically that's all that matters. You pass your courses and now it's time for the exam. If you pass the exam, you get your uh, pretty much your license. And this is my certificate. I'm wearing a suit just because for laughs. Uh, so this is the certificate. They, they you send your paperwork uh, with the broker you sign up. So I was signed up with a broker called First Broker Realty, now called the Ivory Group. And with them, I was there for a while, but I noticed that, you know, I'm not gonna really do anything because I already had plans prior to getting my license. I just wanted to get it out of the way since, I mean, I had tried before, so I like pretty much procrastinated. I didn't even do the, the test. The first time I did it, I let the courses expire. So then I had to, you know, the next year I'm like, let's try again. Cause uh, a friend does real estate uh, and he and I reached out to him like, hey, so what are you doing? He like got me into it. And I'm like, oh, cool, cool. I actually do a review maybe on the Ebre group. Stay tuned. And yeah, so that's basically it. Um, vocabulary real estate principles and this guy prep agent is his name prep agent and follow his content his content basically summarizes a lot of the stuff you really should focus on instead of wasting your time on too much material that probably won't even pop up in the test and that's all that's all i have for y'all <clears throat> so i'll see you on the next video subscribe if you like the content i don't post most I don't post a lot of stuff about real estate, mostly about other random stuff that's maybe helpful. So see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.